Just a bit closer. What an amazing scent. Just you wait, little swan. I'm coming for you. Wow, he truly never fails to surprise me. Yet here I am, dressed in these magnificent garments, waiting to dine with the man who but a week ago refused to see me. It's true that our first meeting did not go smoothly, but if he's willing to try this again, then so am I. Get out! You and your dog should know your place, Rena. How dare you try to go over my we head? We were only speaking with her, Cairo. Right. As if that's all you intended to do. Loyalty is a scarce commodity these days. It's Cairo. Why does he seem so upset? And... Wait a moment. Isn't that... <gasps> that was close. I'm certain that's the woman from my meetings with the generals earlier. So then... What is she doing here? Really, Cairo? I've been away at the war fronts for over a month now. You could have written. You didn't even glance at me during the meeting. Are we going to pretend there was nothing between us? In case you don't recall, I realized long before then that we were only wasting each other's time. Thank goodness for that. Now, I don't remember inviting you to dinner. How did you even find out about this? How could I not? Those worthless maids you have running around couldn't keep their mouths shut if their lives depended on it. Nice outfit, by the way. Azure. How charming. Now that you've publicly lowered your head to a blue blood, you may as well start wearing her colors as well. At this rate, we might as well surrender. All it takes is to acknowledge one as your equal, before they all start acting like they own this place. <sighs> Give it a rest, Rena. You knew this damn war would have to end sooner or later. I'm tired of seeing my men reduced to ink strokes for the toll count. And I'm tired of fighting a battle to which there is no end. <laughs> Karis was right. Blue blood or not, I could use an ally like her. She is loyal to her people. She understands what it means to sacrifice. Not to mention, she's clever, brave, and feisty. Oh, please. Don't tell me you're actually giving credit to that treacherous fox you call a sister. What Karis did at those negotiations is worthy of treason. You could have gone down in history as the dragon who brought down the Azure Nation. But instead, you let that fox trick you into tarnishing the future so many of our great people died for. Many more would have died until then. You're being manipulated. Look around you, Cairo. Where's your little ally? You went through all this trouble. It hopes that you'll get to know more of her. You prepared this grand feast. You even dressed up in that ridiculous costume. Well, where is she? <laughs> Face it, Prince. She's not coming. And she never will. She hates you. With every fiber of her being. And if she could, she would cut off your head and take it back to her people. You're probably right. <gasps> How pathetic I must look right now. For once, I just wanted to... I thought she was... Oh, Cairo. You're always letting yourself get fooled and tricked. I can hardly stand to watch you torture yourself like this. Especially when the answer to all of our problems is staring you in the face. Just kill her. It's what you've always done best. And now, <laughs> she's right under your nose. <gasps> what did you say? Think about it. With her out of the way, you could finally take what is yours. Quite frankly, half of the court officials were expecting you'd have already done it by now, even in her divine form. I'm sure she stands no match for someone like you. I'm sure you've considered it. How easy it would be wrapping your hands around that fragile neck of hers. Watching her 
writhe in pain as she struggles to take her last dying breath. The next time you make such a suggestion, consider this. This presence, it, it hurts so much. Please, make it stop. The, the pain, it's excruciating. Duh! <laughs>